Number 33. Consider a battery with an overall reaction of Cu solid plus 2 Ag plus aqueous yields 2 Ag solid plus Cu2 plus aqueous. And then we have letter A. What is the reaction at the anode and the cathode? Okie dokie. So I'm just going to rewrite this just fairly quickly. We have Cu solid plus 2 Ag plus aqueous yields 2 Ag solid plus Cu, 2 plus aqueous. All right. And I'm just going to give myself a little, rea little room here, just in case. And now just know that a anode and a cathode are two half reactions that make up one whole equation, or one whole balanced equation. So the thing is, if I want to find out what that anode is and what the cathode is, I need to split this whole equation into two halves. Generally, what you're going to do is you're just going to pick the elements that go together on both sides. So for example, this copper, the Cu, goes with this copper, because copper is a copper. And then on the other side, you have the Ag+, plus, and you have the silver, right? Just Ag. So we have this as one half reaction, and this as one half reaction. Whoop, I went totally past it. There you go. Doesn't matter which one you write first. So I'll just write Cu solid yields Cu2 plus aqueous. And then I have 2Ag plus aqueous yields 2Ag solid. Okie dokie. Let's work with the copper first. So now when we're going to be discussing anode and cathode, the thing that we have to do is we have to find out the electrons or E negative that are being transferred from the anode to the cathode. Keep in mind that anode is oxidation. So we're losing electrons always at the anode in galvanic cells and batteries. And cathode is reduction. You can kind of remember, you know, remember this or memorize this by anox and red cat. So now let's just look at the charge between Cu and Cu2+. Well, I don't see a charge in the upper right hand corner here for the copper. That means that the charge is zero overall. And the charge for the Cu2 plus is obviously a two plus. So now I just have to add my charges, right? And remember, you always add electrons to the more positive side because electrons are negative. You can only bring that number down. So since a plus two is more positive than a zero, I know I have to add my electrons on this side and you add as many as you need to get down to the other number. So on a number line two, you need two jumps to get to zero. So I'll add two electrons. Okay. Now for this one, I already see a little bit of, not a problem per se, but I do notice that I have two AGs and two AGs. This is not simplified when it's in its half reaction form. When you have your full equation, I can't do anything about these two because there's more elements that have ones as their coefficients. But now, since we're only talking about this one half reaction and it's literally a two and a two, I can get rid of the twos and just make this more simplified. So now it turns into one AG aqueous. Why, why is there another, I guess I, oop. oh, I guess, I guess it's, it's hiding under there. So we'll just pretend we don't see that. But in essence, you have only one Ag plus and one Ag solid. So now let's find those charges. I have a plus charge. That means plus one. So the overall charge here would be a plus one. Here, just like before, I don't see any charges. So that means that it's an overall zero charge. We add electrons to the more positive side. So now I know my electrons are going to be over here. And how many? Well, it takes one jump to go from one down to zero. So I need one electron. So now 
If we have here, what is the reaction at the anode and the cathode? Just know that oxidation means that you are losing electrons. So your electrons should always be on the right hand side. Reduction means that you're gaining electrons. So the electrons should be on the left hand side or the reactant side. So here, since I have electrons on my product side and I'm losing the electrons, that's oxidation, AKA the anode. So here is the anode equation. And the other one, since the electrons are on the left side, the reactant side, this is the cathode. And that is the, basically the, the end of the question. We didn't have to use Calci here, but I just love looking at Calci. Um, I love my TI-84. And, but yeah, that, that's all that was for this problem. All right, guys, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope you all are having a great day. Let's keep working hard, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.